arrest has been made in a murder that kicked off the weekend. Greenville police say they were called to Berkeley Point Apartments on Wynwood Road off Malden Road Friday afternoon. Once there, they found 42-year-old Antrina Smith with a gunshot wound to the head. Police say they have now arrested Najalyn Smith. They say the victim and suspect are family members. Najalyn is being charged with murder and possession of a weapon during a violent crime. Do it for your birthday. Woo! Drink that shit, nigga. <laughs> uh-uh, now. You ain't pulled that bad liar out, did you? I went back in my nose. Oh, shit. You supposed to drink all that shit. Go ahead, little rookie. I'm still popping. He's still popping. He don't stop popping. He's popping. All right, we done. I... For 19 years, she poured her heart and soul into him. For 19 years, she sacrificed, endured, and fought tooth and nail to ensure he had everything he needed. Despite the hardships, she made it work. For 19 years, she nursed him through sickness, stood by him through adversity, and celebrated his triumphs. She was his rock, his pillar of strength. Yet, after all she gave, after all she endured, he repaid her with violence and betrayal snuffing out her precious life. How could a man raised by such a loving mother assault her then shoot her in the head? Welcome to American Crime, Femicide Channel. Please like, subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell for future uploads. Greenville, South Carolina, a city that boasts an urban yet family-oriented vibe, with plenty of amenities like parks, gardens, and waterfalls, seems like the perfect place to raise a family. But behind this picturesque facade lies a tragic tale involving 42-year-old Antrina Smith and her 19-year-old son Nigelyn Smith. Described by her loved ones as loving, passionate, and sociable, Antrina was the kind of person who treated everyone like family. Born on July 5, 1981, she grew up in Greenville alongside her siblings. At 23, she welcomed her first child, Nigelyn, who inherited her sweet and playful nature from the start. As a single mother, Antrina worked hard to provide for her son, juggling jobs in hairstyling and healthcare at Prisma Health. Over the years, she expanded her family with the arrival of a daughter, completing her circle of love. Despite her efforts, Antrina faced challenges as Nigelyn entered his teenage years. His rebellious behavior, including stealing cars and getting in trouble with the law, strained their relationship. Despite these struggles, Antrina never gave up on her son, motivating him to finish high school in 2023, a moment she proudly celebrated with the world. However, tensions between them continued to escalate as Nigelyn refused to heed her advice and straighten out his life. On May 3, the simmering tension erupted into a horrifying act of violence. Nigelyn brutally assaulted his mother in her own bedroom before fatally shooting her with a handgun. Fleeing the scene, he was later apprehended by the police, who were shocked to discover his identity as Antrina's son. Now facing charges of first-degree murder and possession of a weapon during a violent crime, his actions have shattered the lives of those who knew and loved Antrina. Police investigating a shooting that left an upstate woman dead. The department responded to an incident on Berkeley Point Apartments in Renwood Road. Now, yes, this happened yesterday afternoon when they arrived. They found that woman shot in the head. She's been identified as Arena Smith, of, also of Greenville. Officials say that they are speaking to potential suspects, but there is no danger to the public teenager facing charges after a woman was shot in the head at an upstate apartment complex. Police tell us that the suspect and the victim actually knew each other. Now, Greenville police say that 19 year old Nigelyn Smith will also face uh, weapon possession charges. Police say that they found uh, a 42 year old Aniria Smith and she was shot in the head Friday. Now, this is Berkeley Point Apartments on Wenwood Road and it's still unclear uh, how the two are related. We have looked into that for you, but he is currently being held in the Greenville County Detention Center without bond.
Hearing from neighbors at one Greenville apartment complex where a woman was shot in the head and killed. And the Greenville Police Department says that they found 42 year old Andrea Nashida Smith shot in the head yesterday. This is the Berkeley Point Apartments on Wenwood Road. Uh, we spoke with those living in the complex who knew the victim. They say she was very nice and they never actually saw this coming. This, my brother, he had called my friend and told her that what happened and everything and she told me and then when we got here it was like cops everywhere, a whole bunch of cars, like the parking lot was full. It never been full before. And investigators and Everybody else kept coming and they were trying to figure this thing out. Officials say that they are speaking to potential suspects. Help On May 19th, family and friends gathered to bid a final farewell to Antrina as she was laid to rest, her tragic death leaving a void in the hearts of all who knew her. Her aunt, Felicia Arnold, posted a touching tribute to her, stating, We are exactly nine years and 35 days apart. I remember when your mom brought you home from the hospital, I was so excited to see you. I started babysitting you when you were three months old, I wasn't even ten yet, but I enjoyed every minute of it, you were so cute I called you my cabbage patch. I remember when you were in school and used to get a referral, I had mastered how to sign them so you wouldn't get in trouble. People just not understanding the pain I'm going through man. When you got up to some age we started partying together from the new attitude, Romans, Johnny's, Hayward's, Club 7, 327 etc. I'm gonna miss not seeing you or hearing your voice. I love you to death Trina. Following Trina's tragic passing, her friends have turned to social media to express their fond memories and affection for her. My writer since 1993, 30 plus years, even though we had to grow up and be mothers, but that still didn't separate us cause we raised our kids as cousins. I have so many memories. I'm so hurt and I've been trying to accept this all day. I haven't even told my mama yet. Because I don't want her to feel the pain I feel. I remember my mama always saying, Trina you should have been my child, we both shaped alike skinny legs and a flat ass, my ma exact words and you would always say, but we gone shake it Ms. V and y'all start dancing. Couldn't tell y'all that y'all didn't have big ol' asses, I love being around you, cause we would go out you would live real life, dance all night with no care in the world. Being in the sixth grade at Hughes for two weeks, you was the first to ever to wanted to be my friend. We rode that white Yoda to death, putting pepper in the radiator and all, from shoplifting together to getting our first plant jobs together, to thinking we was grown grown when you got your first apartment and not to mention getting pregnant around the same age and didn't want to tell nobody even though we didn't hang out like we did back in the day. We made sure our kids had a bond an unbreakable bond like the one we had but we always stayed in touch and embraced each other with love when we were face to face. I don't even know why I wrote this long post, the ones that don't know, would never understand. I've been trying to write something since around 7.30 tonight and you know this something I don't do it's probably cause I'm hurting and I've always wrote down my feelings. If you could see how I'm crying, you would say, oh hell no nah, Thea, I know you ain't on no cry baby shit, take your ass to bed or gone home with that shit. Well, Trina I'm at home already and I'ma go ahead and take my ass to bed, but how can I sleep with a broken heart? And no understanding. What can I do? I am angry and I am hurt Ima, pray for peace and understanding for not only me, but for ya kids, Ms. Marianne, Mr. James, T, both of ya brothers and the rest of your family and friends. God we need your patience and love right now. In the process of self-healing I've been broken again. While many of Antrina's friends and family have expressed their grief without mentioning Nigelon's actions, a mutual friend of theirs shared a post expressing sadness over what happened, while someone else expressed having Jalen's back regardless of the circumstances. This commentary is infuriating. A 19-year-old killed his mother as she was possibly sleeping in her room. There are no excuses for his behavior. The youth are out of control and need to be held accountable. If Jalen was so miserable living with his mother, he should have left the home for good. Now, his sister is left without her mother and sole provider because of his immaturity. 
His behavior was inexcusable, and he should be held to the fullest extent of the law. As Antrina's family continues to grapple with her murder, please keep them in your thoughts and prayers. May Antrina Smith rest in peace.